What's up YouTube, it is your boy Lopes and welcome back to another video and as you can see we are somewhere different. We are at DC Auto Spa and what we're doing today is installing my ACT clutch on my 10 Gen Civic SI. The car has about 40,000 kilometers and the clutch is holding decently but it is slipping a little bit and I want to get the car tuned and Alex and Derek are just talking bird shit in the background and I want to get the car tuned so I want to make sure the clutch isn't slipping. So I could have kept driving until it got worse but what I did is I bought an ACT organic clutch, I'll show you guys shortly, and a Honda OEM throwout bearing. I'm super excited to get this clutch up and get tuned and see finally how much power I'm pushing under the tension of the SI. Let's get into it. This is the ACT clutch here. We have the alignment tool. Um, I believe this might be, I'm not too sure. I wonder if this is the throw bearing that they come with or the release bearing. Yeah, but uh, we're gonna use the Honda one and, ooh, fancy. This is gonna be actually my first time seeing a clutch being done. I'm getting my buddy Danny to do it. Uh, I'll link him down below if you guys have any questions or anything like that. It wasn't slipping yet heavily, but I kind of just wanted to get it done just so that we can have it running well perfectly. And yeah, there's the bay, it's looking pretty good. But there's a few other cars in here too, as you guys see. This is my buddy Kevin's EG. It's pretty fresh, B series. Look at that, and that's Mr. DC Auto Spa's EK four door. This thing is clean AF. Look at that. Well done, sirs. Well done. Nice car, Derek. <laughs> so we got Derek and Alex here. Danny should be here shortly. Um, he's a mobile mechanic. He's gonna give us a hand doing it. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna finally have a clutch in this car and then we're gonna have zero slip and then it's gonna be pushing quite a good amount of power. After that, we'll be getting a tune and then we go on the dyno to see what we're pushing. A few people have been talking about this and this is one of the better clutches to get. This is a street organic clutch so it's gonna feel OEM-ish and uh, the original flywheel that comes with the Tenchan Civic is 32 pounds and we're getting it down to 17, which is more than enough and it's almost half. It's gonna give you that street feel, but the RPMs are gonna to drop too fast. But I'm super excited for this. I think it's gonna make a big difference. And like I said, the clutch wasn't slipping too bad on the car, uh, but when I go get it tuned, I don't want any slippage. And so that's it. Since it's been cold out, it's been holding well, but once it gets warm, it slips a little bit. But excited. My buddy Danny should be here soon. And yeah, look at this, eh? Look at that. It's funny how Honda went from that to that over all the years. If you like these type of cars, make sure you comment down below. Never know, we might have a car like this on the channel. All right, everybody. Here's my buddy, Danny. What's up, Danny, what's up? He is the one who's going to tackle the clutch. I trust him completely and I don't trust myself and that's why I'm not doing it. And I've never done it before, so what we're doing right now is we're draining the tranny fluid just so that we can reuse it afterwards because my dumb ass didn't get tranny fluid, so I gotta blame myself for that. If you guys wanna contact Danny, he is a mobile mechanic and he's done a lot of crazy cars. He's worked on Lambos, all these crazy stuff and that's why I trust him working on my car. I don't trust many people, as you guys know, but Danny is one of them. And uh, yeah, if you guys wanna contact him, I'll put his info down below. He works within the GTA, Toronto region, and then give him a contact. And if you need any work done, he's a mobile mechanic now, and he does everything from here. And this is as convenient as it can get. All right, so we've had a bit of a spillage, well, not spillage, but it looks like somewhat of a little leak here. So we're gonna keep an eye on it. Uh, we just cleaned it up right now, and I'm gonna keep an eye. I'm not sure if it's the seal or whatnot, or maybe I spilled some oil somewhere, but just wanted to give you guys an update on what is going on. So we've taken off all the covers. Danny, we're taking off the, we're gonna drop the subframe, right? Yeah. We're gonna drop the whole subframe from underneath just so we can work on it easier. I know there's a way of doing it where you don't have to drop the subframe, but it's gonna be a little tight, but we might as well just drop it since we have the space and the time and make everyone's life a little easier. But aside from that little leak that I have to keep an eye on, everything else is going pretty smoothly. We've removed the battery and parts of the intake and the charge pipes just so we can access more room down here. Danny is a beast. He's tackling this like crazily fast and, uh, yeah. What's <laughs> mm, yes, yes, I, I am a beast. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. They brought the cafage and coffee. And then since the car is up, we're gonna do an oil change. Uh, why not? 
And that's one of the things. Why not? It is moving along. Danny's flying through this. Getting everything prepped for the subframe to drop so we have more room to work. Alex and Derek want to go pick up some oil since we're going to do an oil change at the same time. Since I'm up there, we're going to reuse the tranny fluid because I'm cheap. And, uh, and, I, and I forgot the tranny fluid. And uh, yeah, it's going pretty good. These are the parts that are going to go in. This is not a DIY. This is just us hanging out and doing it. We've released the ball joints. Now we're trying to take the axles off the hubs here. Hey, you need help, just say something. I don't want to be in like, getting in his way. It's like a pylon. <laughs> like, what do you want? I don't want to get in his way. Beautiful. So now we got both axles out. This is all almost ready to come down and then we're going to start working on the clutch. We're doing this just so we have more space and more access to do it. But yeah, it's going pretty good. Boys are chilling. So you have to do all this work to get to the front sway bar and replace it. And I ordered it, but it didn't come in time, unfortunately. So we're gonna see if we can order front sway bar, even though I already have one on order that hasn't come in yet. Um, that one probably go for sale just because we have this all out and make life a lot easier to do it since it's completely out. I tried ordering it in time, but it didn't come in in time, unfortunately. But let's see if we can get one. My memory card got full as we were taking it down, but we've got the tranny down and uh, then he's gonna Get to work on the clutch now. Everything's going pretty smoothly. Well done, Danny. Everything's going pretty smoothly so far. As you guys can see, here's the OEM clutch. And this is actually my first time seeing something like this. I've never seen a clutch job or anything, so it's pretty interesting. It's a tedious amount of work to get to the tranny and removing it because of the, the subframe and whatnot. But we're almost there. All right, so this is what we are installing. I am super hyped to get this in. I've heard only good things about the ACT. And uh, this is a 17 pound flywheel, 17 point something. Came with the lining tool and everything. We're just not using their throwout bearing. We're gonna use the, or the release bearing. We're gonna use the OEM Honda one that I bought from Honda. Big shout out to Tusi and Hamza. And yeah, we are getting there. We're gonna start removing the OEM clutch now and put the new one in. And then we gotta break it in for 500 kilometers and we'll have a review afterwards. The clutch isn't bad yet. The problem is if it starts slipping on the high end, so like if I'm in fifth gear, these clutches aren't the greatest. So when you start making a little bit of power, they start slipping. There's people who start slipping at like 5,000 kilometers. This is gonna definitely help. This is supposed to eliminate a lot of the rev hang, which is really nice when you do the light and flywheel, which I'm excited because I hate that, I hate that delay. finished he's tightening that up now nice and yellow never see it again well hopefully not but <laughs> all we have left is the release bearing or the throat bearing and then we're gonna put everything back together and just see how she feels
wasn't too bad, huh, Alex? Good little workout for the shoulders. Yeah, this is good, not too bad, right? That's it, a little Sunday workout, gyms are closed. Just be a mechanic. All right, so the clutch is in, flywheel's in, it's all in right now. Uh, what we're gonna do now is just reassemble everything. I'm not exactly gonna film reassembling, it's the same thing as taking it out. If anything special comes up, I will film it, but I don't think it will. Uh, we ended up keeping the stock front sway bar, we're not gonna do that, and I'm just gonna do the rear afterwards and just figure it out. So we are almost done, everything's almost put back together now. Um, all, this, all these components aside from the battery is done. Danny's just fixing up some stuff inside. Super excited to try this new clutch out. And once it's broken in, we'll be getting tuned and seeing our final numbers. It is all done, we are on the ground. <laughs> Mr. Danny drives a Subaru, so he was saying that this is like a feather. And I kind of want to keep that OEM feel because it's still my daily, so that's why I went with the street version, not the race version. But yeah, I'm excited to start it up and see how she feels. So, obviously you guys can't really see much and my lights aren't on either. That's why I can't see much either. But so far the clutch pedal feels really soft, but it feels good. Everything's going in gear. We're not gonna rip it obviously, but we're just gonna go for a little drive, then I'll go a more in-depth review once I've driven it and passed the kilometers and broke it in properly, and we'll do a better review then. But right now it's just gonna be a, a quick first impression. I know it's dark, I'm sorry about that, but at least you guys are gonna hear what I think about it for like a first impression deal. And if you guys have all these error codes up, don't worry about it. It will go away. Drive for like 10 minutes, turn off your car and turn it back on and you'll see all these error codes go away afterwards. But so far the clutch feels really similar to stock. Oh, the RPMs drop. Yeah, the RPMs drop like right away. Yeah, so all these brake hold systems and everything, don't worry, it goes away. Oh, it's actually, yo, it's really light. Has a very similar feel to, has a very similar feel to stock, but the RPMs are really quick. I don't have that rev hang anymore, which is really nice. Please fasten passenger seatbelt. Alex trusts me with his life. I don't know about that. I think, <laughs> I, think I agree with her. <laughs> You're gonna see this, like all these errors come up, but don't worry, you'll be fine. But, Hill says. See, I gotta get used to that though. Like the, the RPMs dropping right away. You gotta shift a little quicker. And before you could be a little lazy with your shifts and still be okay. Now I'm noticing it just, but it's nice. I still have to do the CMC on the car, which is gonna help. I heard by doing this, you may get a bit of lockout if you don't upgrade your CMC, especially with the braided line or the steel line that you get to. But so far, so good. Downshifting's nice. Fourth, can't really go too fast where we're at here. Fifth, downshift, downshift. Not bad, feels, feels really good. So a good idea Alex just came up with is just reset one of your trip counters so you know how many kilometers you've driven. And I think it's, some people say 500 kilometers, some people say 500 to 1,000 miles. But no, no, it's 300 to 500 miles. Miles, oh, so. So I would say 1,000 kilometers would probably to be, be like super bad. safe yeah safe is bad i think but honestly it's driving really good and i'm, I'm really impressed with how it feels like yeah. it has a very very similar feeling to stock but it doesn't have that rev hang which is nice damn i'm actually super impressed i'm i'm hoping this holds all the power even though we're not going super crazy power that's why i went with this and it I think for a daily driver that you're hoping to make like 300-ish, this is a perfect compromise for that. Like, I don't feel like I'm driving like a heavy upgraded clutch, which is nice. This is a clutch that you'd wanna be stuck in traffic with. And this is upgraded and holds up to, I think 350 torque, which is gonna be more than enough for us, for, for now anyway, and unless we go super crazy with the build. But right now, it's still my daily driver. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. I wish I could rip it, but I can't. And let's see if we just turn off the car right now and see if all these air codes go away. We've been driving quite a bit, so turn it off. Let it turn off completely. Start it back up. Yep. Put it on our third tune, because that's for our W1 Turbo. And yeah, all your air codes are gone now. You don't have to worry about it. But yeah. 
very good. I'll see you guys at the shop. All right, everyone. So there it is. That was a small review on it. I'll do a proper review on the clutch afterwards once I've broken it in and I can rip it. I just want to say a big thank you to Danny. I'm going to tag him down below if you guys need any mechanical needs done. I Like you see, not too many people work on my car, but I allow Danny because Danny is awesome and he banged that out and I'm very, very happy with the quality of work and everything. Big shout out to DC Auto Spa for letting me use his area. I really appreciate that. And big shout out to Alex for just coming along for the ride as always. I just want to say thank you so much for watching guys. If you're looking to get a clutch that is drivable, that's in the street and you're dealing, this is a clutch I think for you guys, especially if you're not looking to make huge power, but just a little bit more power and it's gonna hold it. So far, I'm very happy with it, with the first impressions, but we'll go more in depth afterwards once it's broken in. But I'm super happy. I like how the rev hangs completely gone, and I'm really, really happy with how it feels. It feels stock. I feel like if I was in traffic, I can get through traffic without any issue. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Do it once, do it right. Peace out, later.